Today in the boot guide, we are looking at the 8-inch insulated ravine by Red Wing Boots, part of the Irish Setter hunting line. So my first time looking at this, I really thought it was a hybrid hiking boot, though it does fall into the hunting line of the Irish Setter line of boots. It truly has the heart and soul of a beautiful hiking boot. Now, what makes a good hiking boot is stability. And this Irish Setter comes with a very stable sole. It's a hard rubber sole with a wonderful traction pattern with all kinds of nooks and crannies to allow you to get a lot of traction on loose gravel, loose dirt, whether you're ascending or descending, whether you got to climb up a tree stand, whatever you got to do, the sole is actually perfect. It also has a shank built in from the middle here to here in the forefoot so that's a nice simple one inch polymer shank that gives you that little bit of support you need when you have to stand on something whether it be the log of a tree the rung of your tree stand or if you're just climbing around trying to get that perfect photo on your next hiking trip so now there's all kinds of features in this boot and there's all kinds of verbiage attached to it that red wing or irish setter however you want to say it has come up with in order to explain the things they're doing in the boot now if you want a full list of that stuff i'll have it listed at thebootguy.com you can read all the verbiage you can see what it's all about and where it all applies to certain sections of the boot like old Ultra dry and scent band and energy. Words like this don't really mean much unless you're familiar with the verbiage that goes along with the specific product. So let's just use simple words. 100% waterproof. It's a fully treated membrane waterproof boot. But what really comes in nice when it comes to this waterproof is that they used a suede leather, a heavy duty suede leather. Now this isn't like a dress suede. This isn't like something that you're gonna see on a high-end dress boot. This is an outdoor thick suede, more like what you'd find on a heavy duty construction type boot, a work boot. It's a beautiful heavy suede, but with the heavy suede being there, it doesn't add any bulk to the boot. The boot still remains ultra flexible and and ultra pliable 400 grams of thin slate in my opinion 400 600 grams perfect amount of insulation for the nice midwest cold winters that we get 400 grams in some wool socks and you're really good to some pretty low temperatures now that's not to say that if you're going sub-zero canada places like that that you're not going to want more insulation more stuff on your foot half size bigger but for your regular full day out in the Midwest, in the woods, or whether it's up in the mountains, you're gonna be great. Now, back into this midsole section down in here, as you can tell, this is a cement constructed boot. And by it being constructed with cement, that means that they can glue together a lot of different layers. And that's where one of the things that I like and one of the things that I really don't like about the boot come into play. Now, this back section right in here, this is where we usually see the impact section happening. Now, most work boots, most hunting boots and hiking boots and having some cushion here is good. So they used a really soft material back in here that is sandwiched in between some harder plastic pieces. Now that's going to give you support and that's going to give some spring back because the soft material is exceptionally soft. This is the same type of material you're going to find in a lot of athletic sneakers. Now it's nice. It adds cushion. It adds support too because of the skeletalized pattern that's going on in there. But the part that I don't like is they carried it through the bottom of the sole. All these little center tan pieces, you can push your finger into there. Now, the reason I don't like it is because personally, I have had a hawthorn bush thorn go through my shoe in the woods. So these little sections don't really care for them, but they are going to add a lot of comfort because all that soft stuff that they got sandwiched in there, that's going to take a lot of pressure off your back. That's going to take a lot of pressure off your knees because you're going to have a soft cushion that is going to have energy return. Now let's get these laces out of here so I can actually show off what's going on in this tongue section. Now the tongue section, which is a very important part when it comes to hunting and hiking boots. 
Most of the time, this is where a lot of companies drop the ball and it's understandable. They're not thinking anything about the top of your foot. They're not thinking that that's as important as the bottom of your foot or where you're putting all your weight. But what they have to start considering is that this thing straps to your foot. And when this is strapped to your foot, every pressure down is pressure up. Irish Setter has really done a nice job by padding this tongue all the way down with a really nice soft material that when you do lace this thing in, it doesn't cause those pressure points that you normally find with a lot of hiking boots. And since we are talking about a hiking hunting hybrid, you gotta remember if you're hunting in this thing, you're spending long hours in there. And the last thing you want is to cause a pressure point here. Now, when you move up into the tongue, what you're gonna notice is it's a gusseted tongue with a cordura material. So there's not a lot going on in these sections here. And by that happening, that means you're, you're not gonna get those little bumps of material that cause those pressure points past the top of your foot, up into your ankle, and then really make a boot uncomfortable, especially in the break-in period. Now up at the top, right in through these two sections, it is a nine inch boot, but they did a beautiful cutaway in the back. So if you do have to crotch down, if you do have to get into a prone position for a long period of time, you're not gonna have this thing cutting into the back of your ankle, your calf, or your Achilles. Up in the tongue section here, they added this beautiful piece of a flexible neoprene type material, which really adds to the comfort of the whole boot. Now laces, hardware, and all that stuff, well, nothing to write home about basic hardware. It's passed through on this side so if you do pop one of these off you're still gonna have a hole there that you can run your lace through it will not affect the waterproofness of the boot so you don't got to worry about that thing going through the tongue section speed laces fully through nice heavy single piece machine painted black so it kind of just adds to the aesthetic of the boot now deep down inside remember we're talking an insulated boot here and we're talking a boot that is padded in my personal opinion, this thing feels more like a classic hunting boot. And for you guys that have worn hunting boots for the last 25, 30 years, you know what I mean. Hunting boots are usually pretty stiff, pretty ruly when you first get them out of the box because they're trying to build a very high dependable boot that you don't have to think about when you're out in the field for a full week. Now this thing has got that fit right out of the box. It's nice and it's stiff and it feels more like that old style boot. But as it breaks in, it really does take on the characteristics of this whole hiking aesthetic. It does become more of a long, full day, full walking type boot. Now as for an insole, you get a little bit of memory foam attached to an EVA footbed. Nothing really all that fancy. It does have that scent band in there, which is supposed to eliminate your body odor. But you know, who really knows if that stuff works? I mean, are any of our noses that sensitive that we can really, well, I guess we can tell when somebody stinks. We all got that buddy, right? We know he reeks and we don't want to go hunting with him. But scent ban, it's, it's applied to the boot. Now about the size and the fit, well, it feels more like a high-end hiking boot, like something that's got a real secure fit to it with a really nice arch, that high impact heel, and just the way the whole toe comes together. And the boots are asymmetrical, so that means that one side is higher, one side is lower, and it kind of takes on the natural shape of the foot, which is a positive thing about the ravine. Now, the size scale on this is pretty nice, too, because they come in Ds and double Es. Now, they start at 8, and they go all the way up to a 14, so that's a really big gamut. And you can find half sizes all the way up to 11 and a half, which is a nice touch. And I'm glad that Irish Setter did this with the Ravine, so that means more guys are going to get a better fitting boot when it comes to this boot. Now, something that had me surprised for an 8-inch, 400-gram insulated boot is the weight. This thing weighing in at 3.8 pounds, I found it absolutely amazing. So that's the Ravine by Irish Setter, eight inch insulated waterproof. Hey, if you're currently wearing anything in the whole Ravine family from Irish Setter, please comment below. Let guys know what you think about these boots. Also, if you've got a pair with the BOA system, please also comment below and let guys know how this boot feels with that beautiful BOA system. Does it lace in nice and tight? Are you getting that really secure fit? Hey, if you want to know more about all the terminology used when they are describing the ravine, please swing by thebootguy.com. I will have all that in a nice blog posting and I'll also have some real good detail photos on a lot of the details that I can't show off in the video 
of the ravine. Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And remember, if you're on Instagram or Twitter, you can always follow me there. All week long, I find beautiful, interesting boots. I take some photos of them out in the wild, in the studio, wherever I'm at and I post them out there so we can have a discussion about it. Hey, if you're about to pick up a pair of these ravines and you're just on the fence about size and fit and about the environment of which you're gonna use this boot, remember, you can always shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.